Mental health. It's often neglected, but it plays a part in the cycle of poverty and disability. Let's give it some attention. It may surprise you to know that 80% of people with mental health conditions like schizophrenia, depression, anxiety and dementia live in low and middle income countries. And up to 85% of people with severe mental health conditions in poor countries do not have access to appropriate treatment. This leaves the person and their family alone in trying to understand, manage or medicate their condition. People with poor mental health are also more likely to have other chronic health problems than the rest of the population. And it's not just their health. They are habitually excluded from participating in society due to discrimination and a lack of knowledge, understanding and access in their communities. And they are often denied their social, civil, political and humanitarian rights. When my son was 15, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He is under medication now. There is a lot of stigma around for this type of disorder. People with poor mental health are being selected for mockery, jest, and even physical torture. Society thinks it is a curse, or they blame the parents. There are a lot of myths associated with it, and those myths are making their lives miserable. When people with poor mental health are provided with appropriate support, they have a huge potential to be active and contributing members of their families and communities. But up until now, mental health has not received adequate attention when it comes to tackling poverty. That's why good development practice needs to integrate mental health into primary health care and emergency services. Include people with poor mental health in income generating programs and strengthen their human rights protections. Speaking up together, we can help increase access to treatment, support, acceptance and opportunity. We need your voice. Together, we can end the cycle.